too. <laughs> they get big, huh? Uh, they, they could be way bigger than oh, that. Yeah. It could be like twice, three times bigger. Wow, wow, I can't believe this is the first time I see a carp that someone caught. Aloha guys, Justin here with another episode of Fish and Dive Hawaii and I've been MIA the last couple of weeks. I feel like I haven't really been able to catch a break since uh, my vacation last month. I just moved into a new place, just starting to get settled in and of course the one day that I have to go diving, I woke up sick this morning so it's just one thing after another. But I promise there will be more fishing and spearfishing content here in Hawaii coming soon. But today's episode, we are actually going bass fishing. This was last month in California with my buddy Edgar. It was a lot of fun and we're gonna cook up the rest of the fish that we caught with Daniel. But first, I wanna talk to you guys about today's sponsor. So today's sponsor is Pelican Coolers. As you guys know from the last few episodes, I have been working with this company. Super high quality products. I use the soft cooler pretty much every single day. Uh, it's water sealed, meaning that once the ice melts, it's not gonna leak anywhere in your car as long as you have it completely zipped up. And I just started using the Elite Cooler. Literally put a whole case of water inside from Costco and it keeps my drinks cold all week long. It's like having a fridge in the back of my little CRV. And plus, it's made in the United States, all of the products. So if you guys wanna support uh, local companies, and when I mean local, I mean made on American soil, please check them out. Make sure to click the link in the description and hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. So sick, so quiet over here. Oh yeah, dude. There's not a whole lot of people that fucking fish these areas. You know what too? Like because we don't, we only fish in the ocean. Yeah. Like it, it's really, it's still really, like really noisy. You don't like fish where it's like real calm and quiet. You know. This is one of the reasons why I like fishing out here is because, you know, occasionally you'll hear a car, but look, like there's nobody fucking here. <laughs> you know, and it's one of those days where it's like. Spot is sick. Oh, there's that like grass that you talked yeah, about right yeah, there. Yeah. Believe it or not, that's like typically the good spot for bass fishing. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, I bought these shoes at Walmart two days ago. Really? <laughs> yeah. Because I was in about, I only brought nice shoes, but these things do the trick. I mean, not bad. They look like they look like Nikes. <laughs> <laughs> when you start cheating out. The fish actually, ooh, that would have been perfect if you caught that. I, I got it on my GoPro. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh yeah. I already feel it going through my shoes. That's why I always wear boots. Yeah. Never fail. This, all this shit right here, do you have seen? Yeah. Was probably like way up there. So you could walk out a little bit? Yeah, you could walk out a little bit further that way. But... Oh, but you said it rained though. Yeah. So do you think this is probably good? Let's hope so. Yeah. We'll see today. So this is yours, and we could set it up with, with whatever. This is what I'm going to be throwing out. today. This might work for you today. This one's going to be the winner. I can already have a feeling. Yeah? Yeah. So typically... You just call them worms, things? Cinco's. Cinco's. So typically you just cross it through here and match it up. And these, with that little weight on there... Mm -hmm. It fucking allows that this fucking jig right here. Oh, and then when it bites, it's just straight hook, huh? Bop. Yep. Yeah. So it, it sometimes you'll see where they'll hit this, and they'll rip it off. Mm. Which is where it gets. But you tough. know it's working now. But you know <laughs> that, that that bites on, and this right little here. Bubbles right there. This little area right here. Yeah. For brushless, so it doesn't get clipped. Oh, okay. Anything. So it hides them. Yeah. It well, it. like look, I can brush my fucking hand through <clears> there, and then not it's not gonna get fucking yeah. caught. <clears throat> so you get snagged a lot over here? Not really? Mm, no, no, it shouldn't be too bad. Like right now, I'm going to start off with this bad boy. What is that? What is that frog. like a little frog? Yeah. 
a little froggy. Sick. We'll see how, the, and this is for top water bite, but. You just, you jig it a little bit off the top or what? Watch, I'll show you kind of. So what, how do you, how do you retrieve these? Like how, what? So the one that you have on right now? Yeah. Oh shit, sure, what the hell? The way you retrieve that one, you, so you're, you're gonna toss it, let it sink all the way to the ground, and you're gonna pop it. You're gonna give it two pops, wait for it, reel in your slack, keep the line tight, so that way you can feel a bite, and then you do the same, same exact concept. All right, so I'm gonna test it out right now. Test it out, toss it out there, let it fucking, let it sit, let right. it hit the ground. You'll, you'll tell if it hits the ground or not. Do I, do I close the bell already? Yeah, you can. And then you reel it in, reel in the slack, so it's a little tight, and then you bounce it. Like down? Upwards. So you, like that, there you go. And you reel it in, keep the line tight, and then you feel it. There you go. Then you bounce it again? Yeah, you just keep doing that same method. Same little method. So like the one that I have right now, watch. Or no bites off the top water, so. Would you get bites by now? Depends. Uh, I haven't tried the top water to be honest, but I said. I it's crazy how quiet it is over here. It's trippy. Now you can tell. Now you can see why it'd be kind of weird, dude. Like at night time, you don't hear a goddamn thing, dude. <laughs> Unless some bushes, just some bushes rustling. <laughs> seriously, and then sometimes you'll hear a fucking like a mean roar, just like. For real? What the fuck? Like, like in the valley somewhere or something? Seriously, like up, up in the fucking. In the mountains. In the mountains up that way, and you're like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> you know what I mean? Different areas. You want to move that way, and then I'll follow you right now. You gonna you're bring your bag? I'm bring my bag over there. Yeah. I'm gonna see if, if there's anything in this little area. Right? All right. You think that's the one that was that you got a bite off earlier? This one kind of hit like in that same kind of area. Oh yeah, <laughs> large mouth. Yeah, it's kind of a little bit smaller one, but same exact thing. There it is. Yeah, lip and lips, dude. That's right, baby. <laughs> Feel how warm his fucking. Feel him. He's hella warm, dude. Why? It's by the water. It's crazy. So that means it's good, though, because... Oh, and then look. So this is this right here means that it's, they're kind of spawning. Yeah. They're going to start spawning soon. That's his little... Yeah. 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 So this is the female. <laughs> so let's hope there's another fucking big female in there. Out of there. Fuck yeah, dude. The, hey, when they hit, dude, it's like... Bum, bum. Like, they're... they're you find the you feel the bite and then it just goes one time off. Uh. Yeah, so that's why it's important to have your your line tight so that you can get that feeling of like mm. if something's on the other side because if that slack is a little uh, loose, yeah, you, you might not set the hook. So that's the strike right there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they hammer it, dude. They, you, you'll feel it. Just had some top water action over here. I'm gonna throw the worm right where it was see if I can catch anything so it turns out I was retrieving it wrong so you gotta like kind of drag it on the bottom which is totally different than Hawaii because you can get snagged so it's almost like you gotta feel the bottom and then keep the line tight but the fish are for sure here so it's not like a reef where you can get snagged pretty easy So I just took a big strike right here. So weird, it's such a different feel. Oh, here we go. Ah, oh, shoot, man, there's fish right here. For sure, look at that. That was crazy, it's such a different feel than like ocean fish. Yeah, let's do that again. It like feels like you're oh you're getting stuck on rocks, but then the fish starts pulling down. But this last time, I, it was my first time feeling that pressure, so I didn't get a chance to set the hook. The 
it was like right here where I got the strike so hopefully that didn't scare the fish doing that look how huge this lake is coyote lake is the name of it again but it got a bunch of geese out there a bunch of birds everywhere else you've seen a whole lot of deer actually there's a deer right there some cattle it's just crazy and it's so quiet like in Hawaii you can be the only one on the beach like it seems like we're the only ones fishing over here and it'll be it'll be pretty quiet but I mean you can still hear the ocean and the waves but right here it's just complete completely still all you hear is just literally as corny as it sounds you just hear nature Good, you know what I mean? over here well especially when you're lure fishing that one right there yeah <laughs> all right just like that huh? just like that hopefully look right here that'd be good right there we'll go try that side yep no action right here oh dude i got a fish yep first cast decent one, decent one. Oh yeah. wow <laughs> yeah Dude, that's so random. Like I said, it feels like you get snagged, dude. They're just chilling, bro. <clears throat> Might have been the color, because I wasn't using this color. Really? Yeah. Throw it off the side of it? Um, right in front. <clears throat> Whew. Skunks out the water, boy. Skunks out the water. It's so maybe my $16 fish right here. It was worth it for the first one. I literally just threw it right in front of the brush right there in the corner. And it just hit it on the way down, I think. All right, guys, caught my first largemouth bass after about, was an hour and a half of fishing? Man, $16 permit. This may be my $16 fish, but stoked. Got the skunk out the water. About to release this thing. Sick. I think it caught it like on the way down. So as the lure is dropping, um, it took it because it felt like it, my my line got tight real quick. So I thought I was snagged on something and then it started fighting. So it was super weird, but a lot different than fishing in, in the ocean for sure. All right, gonna release this bad boy now. Release this fish right here. All right, buddy. Go on. That mud is hella slippery. It's like clay. Oh boy. Like right from where it should be. Right from the top. Fucking deer right here? Yeah, right here. Good. <laughs> scared the deer. <laughs> Fucking scared me. I thought it was like, come after me. <laughs> well, late warning, bud. <laughs> Watch out, these rocks. These are definitely make you fall in. I don't know. Any luck today? Nah, uh, just got a bite. Yeah. So far, nothing. <laughs> Pretty slow, huh? Yeah. I think it's because of the boats, or? Uh, Could be. Yeah. Good luck. Damn, this guy. Look at it. Look at his setup over. Crazy. That's a lot of nice poles. There's a lot of poles. Oh, right there is that nice little tree, huh? That's my indicator right there. Who was fit? Wasn't he fishing over there earlier? I don't know. I think it might have been that guy. Fish around here for a little bit. Yeah. And dip. And then we'll head out. This is the one last spot I want to head out.
Oh, oh. Shoot. <laughs> they get big, huh? Uh, they, they could be way bigger than oh, that. Yeah. It, it could be like twice, three times bigger. Wow, I can't believe this is the first time I see a carp that someone caught. Yeah, th this is just, this what you use. Corn, huh? Yeah. Oh, shoot. <laughs> you gotta try that next time, huh? What are the odds, huh? It's crazy. That was pretty awesome. See, I told you it was big carp in here, dude. Yeah, I thought it was just bass. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I've never seen carp like that. It's wild. <laughs> I have it's a big reason why I got PS4. Yeah, of that's Xbox. why. That's why I got it too. But like, I like Xbox too a lot. I cleaned all the fish. Did as good as a job as I'm gonna get with this knife right here. I'm also using this piece of fence for a cutting board. But I'm gonna go ahead and bag these up, cut off the skins tomorrow, and fry these up. Make some nuggets with some panko like how we do back in Hawaii and see how it tastes with these cod. So it should be pretty good. I know cod is a really awesome fish to eat. Um, really flaky compared to some of the fish that we have in Hawaii. So hopefully it comes out really good. So with these fish heads right here, oh, there goes one. I'm just gonna throw them um, probably in that field down there. One right here because what they have here in California, these big old condors which are like vultures. They've also got a lot of wildlife that can go and eat those um, fish, a bunch of wild cats around here. So, yeah, that'll probably be missing in the morning. What's crazy is these lingcods. This is the first time I've held a fish by the gills. And the gills are actually sharp. They feel like teeth. And they've also got some super sharp teeth inside of the mouth. You guys can see it right here. The rock cod, you can grab it by the mouth, but not these things. Super sharp. They actually kind of look like job fish when I was pulling them up. The ukus. But yeah, they got really sharp gills too. So I'll toss this in the bushes. This one as well. All right. Man, these animals are gonna love me. Hopefully they're not hanging out around here tomorrow waiting for more food. So these are all the slabs right here. I'm just gonna bag these up and cook it tomorrow. After your hip is good, yeah. Yeah. Thanks for having yeah. yeah. thing is good to, for three years. Oh, and then I just get another one for you. Yeah. Well, so I Yeah, so so we're gonna go watch the fight me and a couple of friends. And they're uh they were betting on McGregor. I was like, dude. Alright guys, so I have the fish right here along with some chicken, Brussels sprouts. This is a link cod and this is all the other rock cods, the vermilion the olive and um, I think the brown. So this is the rock cod right here. That one was really good. All it was was um, mayonnaise, panko, just like Hawaii, salt, pepper, and some garlic, some garlic powder too. Right here is the um, lingcod, and the way we cooked this one was kind of steamed it over the grill. So we grilled it inside of foil, and um, just put lemon, salt, pepper, and garlic salt as well. And so try this one too. This one, that one is really tender. The um, rock cod are pretty flaky.
So I probably could have got away with using flour instead of the panko because the panko makes it extra flaky. Uh, but overall, it's just some really good fish. Super simple recipe. Grilled it for about 15-20 minutes along with the chicken as well. Came out perfect. So some good fish out here in Northern California. Great cooking, great eating. Not too sure what the diet is. You can't taste any algae or seaweed. Not not that fishy flavor. Really tender fish, so it came out really good. Good? Oh yeah. Flaky? Mm, a little bit. Yeah? But it's good though. Yeah? You put the sauce on it? What sauce? <laughs> I'm gonna let the, should I let the flow go? Or what? So now Edgar's got the shoyu vinegar chili pepper sauce. Better? Oh yeah. Yeah? Like it? Fire. <laughs>